In college, Sally Burling, a reserved accountancy major, crossed paths with Oliver Corman, a popular and talented football player destined for success. Their worlds collided, and after graduation, they embarked on a journey together, with plans to relocate to New Orleans following Oliver's promising football career. However, fate intervened a month before their move, altering the course of their lives. Oliver's reckless decision to cross the street against a red light resulted in a devastating accident involving a taxi. While he narrowly escaped death, the injury to his left ankle shattered his dreams of a professional football career, forcing him to confront an uncertain future. Beside him in the hospital room, Sally offered words of reassurance, her quiet resolve unwavering. Babes, she murmured, we'll find our way. If one dream slips away, we'll simply dream another. But as Sally spoke, Oliver seethed with frustration. While Sally remained steadfast in her optimism, he grappled with anger, anger at life's cruel twist, and an inexplicable resentment towards Sally, who seemed untouched by the devastation of their shattered plans. Despite Oliver's initial reluctance to accept their altered circumstances, Sally proved resilient she secured a position at a prestigious accounting firm, while Oliver found purpose as an assistant coach for a successful high school team. As they settled into a routine, purchasing Oliver's childhood home after his parents relocated to Florida, Sally's pregnancy brought newfound joy. Yet Oliver's pent-up frustration erupted into a violent outburst when Sally expressed her happiness, revealing the underlying strain in their relationship. Though Oliver apologized, the incident left a lasting impact, casting a shadow over their marriage. Sally's return to work after giving birth to twin boys only exacerbated tensions, particularly as her career soared, eclipsing Oliver's income. Feeling emasculated by the vast disparity in their earnings, Oliver's resentment simmered, compounded by his growing ambition to reclaim his former glory. His newfound opportunity Coaching the local college football team reignited his sense of purpose, but also sparked jealousy as he became enamored with the attention from adoring fans. Concerned about their children's welfare, Oliver pressured Sally to prioritize homemaking over her career, igniting further conflict. Sally, torn between financial stability and familial duties, found herself at odds with Oliver's traditional expectations. Caught in a tumult of ambition, Resentment and shifting roles, Sally and Oliver's marriage teetered on the brink of irreparable fracture as they grappled with the complexities of their evolving identities and aspirations. Oliver's harsh accusations pierced the fragile fabric of their marriage, leaving Sally feeling torn between her love for her children and the financial security her job provided. Ultimately, she sacrificed her career to appease Oliver's demands, hoping it would mend their fractured relationship. However, as tensions escalated, Sally's suspicions of Oliver's infidelity grew. But fear of his explosive temper stifled any confrontation. She resigned herself to the role of a dutiful wife and mother, finding solace in her children's joy despite the strain in her marriage. Yet the breaking point came unexpectedly when Oliver callously demanded Sally's departure, blindsiding her with the abrupt announcement of divorce. Left reeling and bewildered, Sally clung to her children as she sought refuge in her parents' home. However, the divorce proceedings delivered one final blow as Sally discovered she had no legal claim to the house, leaving her with nothing but the comfort of her children and her professional skills to lean on. Amidst the wreckage of her shattered marriage, Sally's mother offered reassurance, reminding her of the strength she possessed within and the unwavering love of her children to sustain her through the stormy days ahead. And so Sally persevered. Despite the setbacks of her past, she found herself back on her feet, carving a path of success with unwavering determination. Though her new job didn't match the financial heights of her previous role, her expertise and diligence garnered accolades and advancements, propelling her back onto the fast track of career growth. Five years later, Sally had built a life she could be proud of. As the CFO of a prominent company, she relished in her professional achievements, owning her own home, and cherishing the growth and well-being of her children. 
Yet, a mundane Saturday morning turned surreal when Sally made a routine trip to the store, only to discover an unexpected intruder curled up in her trunk. Shock turned to disbelief as she recognized the disheveled figure of Oliver, a stark contrast to the man she once knew. As Oliver spilled his tale of downfall, Sally listened with a mixture of pity and resignation. The once promising coach had fallen from grace, falsely accused and left destitute after a series of misfortunes. Yet despite his pleas for sympathy, Sally couldn't forget the harsh reality of their past. I didn't leave Oliver, she reminded him, the weight of their fractured marriage lingering in the air. You kicked me out. In that moment, as the remnants of their shared history collided, Sally grappled with a flood of emotions, torn between the instinct to offer comfort and the painful reminders of past wounds. For both Sally and Oliver, the encounter served as a poignant reminder of the irreversible consequences of their choices and the unyielding passage of time. Oliver's plea stirred a mixture of emotions within Sally, softening her resolve momentarily. Yet as she reflected on the tumultuous journey that led them to this juncture, she couldn't ignore the lingering wounds of their past. Oliver, I understand more than you realize, Sally murmured, her voice tinged with sadness. But perhaps this isn't a second chance for us. Maybe it's a chance for you to find your own path. Despite Oliver's hopeful suggestion, Sally remained steadfast in her decision. With a heavy heart, she guided him to the shelter, offering him a temporary refuge from the streets. As they approached the shelter, Oliver's anticipation wavered, replaced by a sinking realization of his circumstances. His charm faltered in the face of Sally's unwavering resolve. This is a homeless shelter, Sally explained calmly, her words cutting through the tension. They'll provide you with the support you need, Oliver, it's time for you to take responsibility for your own life. Oliver's protests fell on deaf ears as Sally reaffirmed her stance, highlighting his absence from their children's lives as a stark reminder of his priorities. With a heavy heart, Oliver stepped out of the car, his pride wounded, but his resolve steeled. As Sally drove away, leaving him to confront his newfound reality, Oliver's path forward remained uncertain but the journey towards self-redemption had begun.